Remote ischemic preconditioning means that brief ischemia of an organ or tissue protects remote organs from a sustained interval of ischemia. IPC has been proved to be efficient in many animal trials. Several encouraging clinical trials of remote ischemic preconditioning have suggested clinical benefits, but as far as we know, the current study is the first randomized clinical trial to translate RIPC to the urological surgery. In order to perform RIPC of lower limb, we need following equipment. First, an automated cuff inflator. Second, an audio doppler. The technique includes the following five steps. Step 1. After anesthesia induction and urethral catheterization, the cuff was then placed around the right thigh. Step 2. An audio doppler was placed on right dorsal pedal artery to confirm the pulse. Step 3. The automated cuff inflator was inflated to 200 mm of mercury to induce right lower limb ischemia. The audio doppler was placed in the similar place to ensure the limb ischemia. Step 4. After 5 minutes of ischemia, 5 minutes of reperfusion was performed during which the cuff was deflated. These 5 minutes of ischemia and 5 minutes of reperfusion was called one cycle. Step 5. Totally 3 cycles of right limb ischemia and reperfusion were carried out in the study. All these steps were completed during the surgery before renal pedicle occlusion started. We performed a blinded randomized control trial in patients undergoing laparoscopic partial nephrectomy surgery to investigate the effect of remote ischemic preconditioning on renal protection. 82 patients undergoing laparoscopic partial nephrectomy were randomly assigned to RIPC or control group, and finally 40 and 38 patients completed 6-month follow-up. The glomerular filtration rate of defective kidney was significantly decreased by 15% in the control group than by 8.8% in RIPC group at 1 month, but there were no difference at 6 months. The urinary retinal binding protein levels increased 8.4-fold at 24 hours in the control group, comparing a low increase of 3.9-fold in the RIPC group. In patients undergoing laparoscopic partial nephrectomy, RIPC using transient lower limb ischemia may reduce renal impairment in the short term, but failed at a longer period. If you have any questions about this study, please contact us. We will be pleased to communicate with you.